Swagas. Right, you know what I'm saying right now. What would you say to the people that's calling themselves slab OG, slab gods, you know what I'm saying? And they might not have been around when like you was riding. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I kind of laugh at shit like that. They need to humble themselves. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't label yourself nothing, man. You got to be coin something by the streets. How do you do that anyway, though? Mm -hmm. Do you send out a mass group text or something? Hey, y'all call me this tomorrow. The street, you saying the hey, streets got to tell you The streets got to name you this. Yeah. So I'm just up and wake up tomorrow and be like, hey, man, y'all call me Slab God tomorrow. Hey, don't call me. Hey, call me Slab King. Nah, man, the streets got to name you this. You know what I'm saying? Or you could just do some undisputed. You know what I'm saying? And let your work speak for itself. You know what I'm saying? But boating up some regular or some, or even an Escalade, you know what I'm saying? Like it ain't nothing that ain't been done. You know what I'm saying? And until you, and if, if you know you coming behind that and did already, then you got to do it live than they didn't did it for you can even take this credibility and try to call yourself a god or a king because of it. Because you put some wheels on this car that are super done. You know what I'm saying? Because like I told you, when I did that Escalade, it was, it was brand new. Yo. It had just came out too. You know what I'm saying? Like they was that was brand new. No Yo. miles. You know what I'm saying? I got to took it and read it and treated it just like a 90 lane. You know what I'm saying? Same thing back here. This escalate, that's a V. I'm finna read that. You know what I'm saying? And treat him like a slab. Read all the pieces on the inside. I'm four hundred thousand dollar Rolls Royce. And a man was able to steal it in a matter of seconds at a popular Buckhead hotel. Channel to investigate reporter Ashley Lincoln breaks down the steps the car owners took to get their stolen car back. Yeah, the couple tells us they were frustrated because they weren't getting any answers from the hotel, so they had to file legal paperwork in order to get a subpoena just to get this surveillance video to find out what happened. It was a dream car Scott Ware says he's worked years to get. As the owner of a concrete company, he says he only had this Rolls Royce truck for two months before it was stolen from a Buckhead hotel. I mean, it was unbelievable. Ware says he and his wife were staying at the Thompson Hotel to celebrate their anniversary. When it was time to check out, they waited more than an hour, only for valet to tell them they couldn't find their truck. It's negligence on both the hotel and on Laz. The Ware's had to file a lawsuit for a subpoena just to get this surveillance video from the hotel. They didn't really want to give us the video. The valet driver, wearing all black, is seen walking up to the passenger side of this Cadillac. He walks around to the driver, the man in the white shirt, and hands him keys to where's Rolls Royce. The man gets in the Rolls Royce, starts it, and drives off. You see somebody actually handing them the keys to your car, and they look back and they get in the car and drive off. And it's, it's like the nerve of somebody. The wares confronted the valet driver the next day. So what's our procedure? Where says they were able to track the car to Best Road in College Park before the thieves disabled the GPS. Months later, after searching on social media, Where saw this video from a man posting his car in Houston, Texas. Where knew the car was his because of its unique interior. It's a Charles Blue, which is a new interior. Okay, so that's how you knew it was yeah, car. Yeah, exactly. They contacted Houston police. The man was arrested and Where's vehicle was located. But he says they changed both the plates and the rims on the truck. I reached out to the Thompson Hotel to see if they still contract last parking for valet services. We're waiting a response. Last parking has not responded to our questions. I don't know what's the end solution for it, but they need to do something to protect the citizens. And we do know at least one person has been arrested down in Houston related to this case. So far, no arrests have been made here in Atlanta. Reporting in Buckhead, Ashley Lincoln, Channel 2 Action. What it do, everyday people, man? It's your boy, PJ. Today, we back with another lit video. We back in the confessional. Yes, we stay in lit, big dog, man. Shout out to my everyday people who rock with me every day. Shout out to my homeboy, Lucky Woods of Deals, man. Y'all check out his YouTube channel. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And click the links down below for opulent and send safe 10% off when you click the link. You use my link, okay? Let's get into it, man. You got, uh, yep. 
uh, Screws Them Whips on Instagram dropped this video and they dropped others. Basically, from a YouTube video where a guy is talking about his slaps in Houston, talking about swangers, the origination of it, of who the first people to do it, what all have you done. Just a big breakdown. And I like um, slabs. I, li I used to have a, a set of 30s, uh, 30 spokes back on my cutlass back in the day. You know what I'm saying? They they was they looked kind of like swangers, but they just wasn't swangers. Just, but they close enough. Um, then, you know, so the car culture in Houston is different. Everybody looks at this and be like, oh, that's garbage. Why would you do that to a Rolls Royce? Man, these boys really getting money. They can do what they want with their cars. Like, they just going to slab it out, trade it in, get another one, slab that one out. Like, that's the Houston car culture, man. You just got you just got to you just got to know it to see it. It's just like when people started putting big rims on cars, right? Everybody's like, oh, you put 20s on it, you put 22s on it, you're making it look ugly and all this. Now, what do cars come stock with? 22-inch rims, 24-inch rims. You know, come on, man. We all knew this. Like, uh, the, the, the culture, car culture, black culture, whatever, um, it's always being taken by the by the by the industries okay the industries they see that people are taking their 22 inch rim putting 22 inch rims on it so what do they do we're just going to come out with a nice 22 inch rim for people to ride on you know and they make the wheel wheels much bigger now so you can have 22 inch wheels and have thick tires see back in the day you had to ride them rubber band tires because there wasn't no room to put 24s on the escalade so you'd be riding on rubber bands or having to lift it hella high and doing a lot of cutting. So, I say all that to say this. Dude's a dickhead. He got caught. Um, I don't know if he's really, I don't think he's actually broke. But buy, he probably bought this off the street as any person would. And changed the plates on it. Doesn't have it registered. Doesn't have it insured. Because if you got it insured, you have to have a VIN number. You know what I'm saying? So, they, you you knew this dog. You knew it was stolen. You knew it was hot. So it was probably riding around illegal. And then he was showing it off, not knowing that that color. I think they said Charles blue. I don't know what exact blue they said, but it's a specific blue that they specially ordered to come on their truck and it's painted uh, silver now or gray. Now had they had guy painted the color and had got it a different color, I believe that he would have got away with this because people they they would have seen the interior but they would be like nah my exterior is not to say why would somebody paint the paint my car you know but anyway the guy's a doofus he got caught um showing off like if you got a stolen whip especially something as rare as a color then i mean there there may be three four thousand colonists in the states maybe more you know, Oklahoma probably has three. You no, know, Miami, prob Florida probably has 700. California probably has about the same amount. New York probably has about the same amount. But then they're scattered all around the country in small pockets. But I don't think everybody just buying colonies like that. So, I s Houston got a few, of course. <laughs> Uh, probably more than any other state. But what I, I say all that to say this. Um, it's a rare car. Uh, the colors on this rare. Everything that you buy from a color, if it's buying off the lot, you design it to your liking. Or you can buy a used one and it just is what it is. But that specific blue that them people asked for with that gray, that's something they specifically asked for. And they got it. So, and then when they seen it on TV, they knew exactly what it was, man. Everyday people, let me know what y'all think in the comments section about this character who riding around in a stolen color and then it put swangers on it. Everyday people, like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to holler at you later. Peace.